All right, here's the start of day three or four, I don't know. But going fishing on the Kenai. So just getting all set up. Okay, so there are a few things to cue you guys in on for these next couple videos. Pacific salmon navigate upstream from the ocean to their home stream to spawn in safe waters with plenty of other salmon around. This journey requires so much energy that the salmon deteriorate as they get further upstream, with coho or silver salmon maintaining the best meat quality, followed by sockeye or red salmon, and finally pink salmon. We mainly wanted coho, but we were happy to eat a few reds and pinks as well. They spawn once they reach their destination, then usually die right afterwards. The salmon are a vital part of the nutrient cycle for this environment, and their eggs, flesh flaking into the water, and remains all feed the local bears, seagulls, eagles, trout, humans, and more. They also provide nutrients to the plants and soil on land if they are brought inland by an animal for a peaceful and protected feast. So there's just this massive cavalcade of every living thing in the area coming to the river to stock up on some delicious salmon while it lasts. And it was truly impressive to see how much these fish drive life in Alaska. Once the salmon enter fresh water, they usually stop feeding, become aggressive in nature, and are intent only on getting upstream to find a mate. Because of this, the method of flossing to catch them was created. Essentially, you fish on the edges of the riverbank where the current is weaker and have only a hook and weight on your line. From the riverbank, you cast out about six feet and drag the weight back along the floor back downstream until it's directly downstream of you. With the hook floating about two inches off the river floor and going perpendicular to the shore, the line will get caught in any nearby salmon's mouth and you essentially hook them from the outside cheek in. I thought this was so interesting as a trout angler, being used to presentation and making the fish want to eat the hook. Sick. Alright. And you got all the ones with the spiky teeth. Once the day's fishing was done, we passed by the Soldana Airport to take a look at some notable bush planes, then headed to a nearby lake to get some rest and relaxation, as well as see if we could catch any trout. some cool fish today I saw some cool birds lots of cool birds uh, and then just took care of some more groceries and stuff uh, but on the next video what we got planned is a flight scene trip so that should be pretty cool and then also we're gonna get up in the morning real early and see if we can get some more salmon bites and get some good fights hopefully bring in some more fish uh, and then other than that, the rest of the day is pretty much free, so we might go check out some lakes, uh, try to see some bears for sightseeing over at Skilak Lake. Um, other than that, we're just continuing the adventure, so should be pretty fun, and we'll see you in that one. Alright, peace. Unfortunately, our flight scene trip in Homer was cancelled due to weather, so we opted to check out the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge and Captain Cook Recreational Area.
cold lovers walk. Twinge of guilty wondering. And as this time grows empty, this love that you have lent me is strong enough to keep me caught in the swing of a cold lover's walls. Just spinning. All I ever wanted was to be to you what you are to me. Now she's the one that you call home, and I'm just the one you leave in a cold lover's walk.